tell me how you feel inside. You a real ass woman and I like it. Bro, if you have not had this coconut water, I almost said just this coconut. This specific coconut water, okay? No other coconut water will do. If you haven't had this, you're welcome because I just put you on because it is phenomenal. I just got done hitting a workout, so I'm a little energized, so pardon me for screaming. Oh my, oh my fucking, fucking god, god, it's, god so it's so good. good. Today, it's 10.30. Realistically, I should be asleep in bed right now. But I'm up because I took a nap. I'll explain that in a second. But basically, we're just going to be driving around the city. I'm going to show you the city of Boston. We're going to be playing some jams. That whole, that part, all right? Let's get into it! Why do I have this much energy at 10.30? I don't know. Well, actually I do know and we'll talk about it. Damn! Can we talk about gas prices real fast? $4.50 for a fucking gallon? I'm sorry? Anyways, I digress. The main reason why I wanted to do a video today, the main reason I wanted to drive, well, part of the reason, was because I don't like to talk about my feelings. At least to people who are close with me. Um, it's very hard for me to do that because I don't want people to worry about me. I feel that sometimes it's almost an insecurity of mine for people to worry about me because I don't feel worth the worry, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like everyone has their already own problems so they don't need to worry about mine and that's just not a healthy thing because obviously I know the people in my life are going to care about me and worry about me regardless if I know that they are or not but besides the point Sunday I had a panic attack I am very open about my anxiety and feeling anxious a lot and I've only until recently ha have I ever said that I have anxiety and I only say that because of how many occasions I feel anxious at this point in my life it's more or less every day when it comes it's not a matter of if anymore it's really not it's it's a matter of when what provokes the anxiety I I could not tell you specifically because it's always so random it's like the littlest things just just like that just like that it's like a, a switch and it sucks like you just I get this feeling in my stomach where I think I'm gonna throw up and it's like I'm playing basketball or something you know like right before a game you get like little anxious a little like butterflies like a good feeling well this stomach feeling doesn't go away okay this feeling this feeling just stays there and it stays there until I figure out something to do to make it go away whether that is smoking whether that is working out whether that is just pushing through work whether that is going on a walk I don't know keeping myself busy enough to not think about how anxious I fucking feel so as I was saying Sunday um, a guy I really genuinely really like um, a guy I genuinely was like man this could be this could be something special uh, he decided against it. He wasn't uh, in his right headspace to be in a relationship or something, I guess. I don't really know. But after that, I had a breakdown. I have not had a breakdown like that, and I cannot tell you how long. 
this breakdown um, consisted of me crying for an hour. That's probably an exaggeration. At least 20 to 30 minutes though. I was sobbing. I was holding myself. I was sobbing. I was telling myself that I didn't feel loved. That, you know, like... I, I'm so alone, like, I feel so alone, I feel so isolated, like, I don't feel worth anyone's time, like, all this stuff, probably gonna get emotional on here, and I'm a crybaby, and I don't, I don't really care about it anymore, um, but so all these things, right, and I go to sleep, and it's fine, you know, the day goes on the next day, well, today, after work, well, at work I got some news that this girl is going to get promoted. And I genuinely care about this girl a lot. I love her as a person. I think she's a great fit for the job. However, I am better, okay? I'm not too afraid to admit if I'm better at something or if fucking crossing the road right now. Are you... about it I wasn't in my head really but I got anxious about it and so we had a meeting directly after um, this this talk about this girl getting the promotion right and so I'm trying to keep my composure meanwhile my legs will literally not stop moving my hands are just on my legs just rubbing my legs I'm just breathing I'm like, I'm not listening to a word that they're saying. I am just focused on not breaking down at this meeting, okay? And, but, what is this guy doing? Oh my, why did I come to this city? So I left, and as I'm walking out to my car, I just start crying. Just start crying, which is fine. Again, I'm used to me getting emotional. I cry a lot, but I don't really ever sob. I cry, I don't ever sob though. And so I get to my car and I'm like, all right, you know, I play some good music, some good, not feely music, but some like good, good jams. Like I'm moving whenever I go home, right? Well, so I make it home and I was supposed to hang out with that guy that I was having problems with the guy that I I thought I saw something with I was supposed to hang out with him because we were supposed to talk about some things and blah 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 call him because I'm again feeling anxious and I need to know if I need to work out or I need to know what I need to do to get this anxiety off my chest and he goes well I'm at the gym right now like um do you think, are you busy Friday? And I'm going, are you serious? So I'm pissed off because I genuinely like wanted to see him, of course. I took it personal that we couldn't hang out. So I got a little mad. I didn't get mad at him specifically. That's not what was targeting a lot of the feelings that I was feeling the way I was feeling prior to him canceling on me regardless. That just added more to the layer, okay? That added more to the layer, and then I started breaking down in my car. I got out of my car because I was home. I walk upstairs, and I go to my room, and I sob. I take off my clothes and I sob between my legs and I'm contemplating my worth as a human and I'm contemplating everything in my life, not taking my life. I don't want to die. Okay, let me make that very clear. But I'm contemplating what I'm doing. You know, why was I'm feeling the way I'm feeling? Just, I'm sobbing at this point. I am breaking down I'm having a panic attack like and there was nothing the thing that was crazy is there was nothing 
that could have changed how I was feeling. There was no, like, I think I got upset because, god damn, there was no, like, cure, right? Like, I had to figure that out on my own. After I stopped crying every tear that I could cry, I went and took a nap for an hour. I took a nap. So I woke up in a better mood, then I got some food, and I'll figure some shit out, and, you know, I feel better now. And that's why I wanted to film, because I felt a random, um, thing in me that was like, man, you should film, you should just talk, you should do something, and then I posted something on Snapchat, which I don't have social media, if I haven't already touched on that, I don't have social media. But I downloaded Snap because I need people to send me music for the gym, okay? I've been going to the gym recently and I need a playlist. I have a playlist, but it's not good. I need a better one. I'm sick of my music. So, and then I had posted like, hey, this video may look like I'm doing well. Like, my body looked really good in the video and blah, blah, blah. Disclaimer, I've had two panic attacks in the past seven years. So I'm not okay. God damn, I ran that one. Yikes. Um. Feeling like that? Whenever you're feeling anxious or depressed or... Oh, yeah, let's get it. Or anything like that, you don't think that people understand. You don't think that um, people are going to check up on you. You just feel so alone with whatever you're dealing with. And so it's easy for me to feel like that, especially since I'm not always talking to people. Oh, you know, a lot of people are always talking to people, which I think is great. I just don't have social media or anything, so I don't have that ability to always talk to people. So I get lonely really easily if I'm not with people a lot, because I'm not usually. Which again, to each their own, is okay at the end of the day if you're feeling alone or you think you're alone. Anyways, but um, but that's been my anxiety the past three days. Take away something from my videos. I don't. I mean, I post them mainly for me. But I do hope that you get something out of it. I don't want it to just be beneficial to me at the end of the day, you know? We have a, a different kind of generation, a different society to kind of... Oh my god, that cat scared the mess out of me. Um, oh, there's two. We have kind of different struggles in our generation, and I think... Um, the other generations don't really understand as far as some of the mental health stuff that we as a generation deal with and so that's all I ever want to help out with is just being a voice to some of the things that I know that I deal with and some of the things that I know other people deal with that are similar and to just give that a little bit of attention because at the end of the day, we're all here to help each other. We're all not alone. Like humans are not meant to be fully alone. I think it's super important that you understand how to be alone and how to be comfortable being alone, but humans are not meant to be alone. We wouldn't have, I wouldn't be here if two people were alone, right? Ideas aren't formed just being alone. Like we, I think that's sometimes what we, we get lost in. Or that's what I feel like some people just, some people just preach about being alone and only doing things alone. Which, to an extent, yes, you need to be alone. Because you are going to have those days when you are alone. And if you don't know what to do when you're alone, then yeah, that's probably a problem. But, I don't think you should be alone seven days a week, every day, you know? 
minus if you have a job or not. Like, I feel like you should spend time with friends and with people you love to be that better version of yourself and get some ideas flowing and have beneficial conversations and etc. Like, I think it's important for people to spend time with people. As well as I do also think it's important for people to spend time alone. So they do, so they understand their thoughts. So they, you know, vice versa. Okay? That's all I'm trying to say. Also, before I go, I got a new piercing. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. It's that one. And then I got my thirds. Um, thank you guys. I love you so much. If no one told you today, you are crushing it. Keep moving forward. It's 11 p.m. I need to get my ass to sleep before I have work tomorrow. But I'll be seeing you very soon. Cheers. And make sure you check out this coconut water for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. For real, for real, for real. It's that good. It's I promise. If there's anything I will ever teach you, it's to drink this coconut water, okay? Okay, love you. Bye.